All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how you can replace your cabin filter inside your Suzuki SX4. And why is this important? Well, effectively, the air vents, um, especially when you've set your car to actually take the clean air from the outside, that air gets sucked in through the vents at the front, okay? And then it goes through the cabin filter before it gets filtered out from these vents and into the car for you to breathe. And it's very important that you've got a clean filter, just like a car has a, an air filter, the cabin filter effectively stops any uh, debris, um, dust, um, to a large extent to actually enter your car um, and I think it's important to change it because the old um, cabin filters, they can effectively get moldy, um, you know, and, um, you know, especially in the winter, as it gets stuffy, your windows get um, lots of condensation, um, and effectively that moisture uh, can effectively cause mold uh, to grow on your cabin filter. So effectively, this is the one I got from uh, Euro Car Parts, you could probably get it off elsewhere as well. Um, you can see it's a Bosch one. That's the make. Now, I think depending on your vehicle, there might be several types of this. Um, so, yeah, just pick the right one for you. Um, but I'll, I'll actually open this one up so you can actually see what it looks like. Okay. Oh, okay, so this one actually tells you which cars it will fit on. Uh, so we've got Fiat Sedici, Suzuki Swift, Suzuki SX4, which is the one we're fitting on now, and Honda Jazz, which is great. Honestly, I think it's really good when a car manufacturer produces a car part that fits multiple models. Okay. So this is the one we've got, nice and clean, and we'll try and pull the one that's inside the vehicle right now out okay and let's do this and we'll see the difference in how dirty the other one is i haven't removed the other one for the last three years so let's see what a three year worth of debris and whatever else must have gotten stuck onto the old one looks like all right see you in a few seconds now the way to go about pulling the old one out is i'll probably have to take this glove box out completely Okay, I'm going to have to take all of these things out, pull it completely out uh, whilst making sure nothing gets uh, broken. Uh, I'll try and show you as much of the process as possible. Okay, see you in a bit because I'm going to have to use both of my hands. We'll see how I'm going to be filming this. All right, guys, just very quickly, uh, you know the Bosch leaflet inside the cabin filter uh, that we were looking at? Basically, for each of the three or four models that... Um, this uh, cabin filter fits in, they've actually given us uh, a diagram, which is really, really nice of where the cabin filter sits in reference to the car. Okay, so there's the glove box on the Suzuki SX4. Okay, that's where it is located. How do you get to it? Well, as I said, you've got to remove the glove box. Okay. Apparently there are two bits which need to be pinched inwards and this will allow the actual glove box to come out and once it comes out uh, then you've got to actually pull um, this bit out it must be a plastic part which you have to pull out then to be able to gain access of the cabin or air filter uh, the cabin filter and then once you pull this one out you'll put the new one in and repeat the process as i mentioned um, there might be a difference in the actual size of the cabin filter depending on your vin so i think it's important for you to check the vin of your vehicle mine begins with t and that's the one that fits on my vehicle but yes if you have a suzuki sx4 please check your vin before you order the part and this is the diagram for the fiat Setichi, the Suzuki Swift as well, and we can see on the diagram for both of these models 
uh, there isn't a picture which shows the VIN, so I guess you don't have to check it if you're changing the air filter on these models, but we're focusing on the Suzuki SX4, so let's get on with it. Guys, it was super easy. You basically press, as, as, as the diagram showed us, you have to press inwards that plastic um, glove box. You have to press it inwards and effectively these bits come loose and then you can pull it open. Now, all of my bits will probably fall out. I'm gonna have to put them back in. But the main thing is, there's our plastic bit which needs to come off, okay? And let's have a look at the diagram. These bits need to be pulled out, apparently. Okay, there we go. Nice and easy. Let me just pull the other one out. All right, and there's our cabin filter. Now, I guess it's very important to see which way we need to fit our cabin filter. Okay, we're gonna be judging this. Well, how do we pull it out? It's very difficult to pull it out. I might need both hands to pull it out. So I might pause this video for a few seconds, okay? But that's the access, you know, whether you use a screwdriver or whatever, something little to... Ah, there we go. We don't need a screwdriver. Oh my days. Look how dirty this is, honestly. The camera doesn't do it justice. If I was to shake this, you'll be able to see the disgusting bits trapped in here. And again, if these things are not trapped, they go in inside the car and then you can actually breathe them in so effectively the air the cabin filter does your lungs lots of good okay loads of people might be thinking you know what? i'm never going to change my cabin filter you have to change your cabin filter look at this guys absolutely filthy okay these particles you don't want these particles in your lungs do you absolutely disgusting yeah there's the difference in color nice and clean and the other one absolutely disgusting and as i said i haven't changed it for three years some people don't even change them at all so please do change your cabin filters look at this absolutely disgusting and i was hearing some rustling so who knows there might be leaves there i'm gonna have to clean this up a bit as well so as i said the airflow goes from up there where the windscreen is down through the actual um, cabin filter. So effectively, that's the way we pulled it out. So the other one is gonna have to go in this way, okay? You can see it says airflow, okay? So this is the way to fit it in. Made in Germany, Bosch. You can't really get it wrong. It's as simple as that. So we're gonna put this in right now. Guys, I'm not even joking. I actually just pulled out a leaf from inside there a leaf how did a leaf get in all right but again that's probably clogging your um air conditioning system whatever so when you want to warm up the car or cool it down again these things are just stopping it from doing it properly again if you're not getting enough airflow check your air cabin is it blocked is it old are there any massive debris in there look at that dry leaf who knows how long it's been there for okay so check it out okay let me see if i can find anything else in there no i can't find anything else in there that's good. Nice and clean. All right, let's fit the new one in. All right, guys, so we're popping in the new air filter. Push it all the way in. Good. Nicely done. Let's put that plastic cover on as well. Nicely done. There we go. Good. And we're just going to have to pop these back in there. Job done. And this is it, guys. I squeeze these bits in. Job done. <laughs> 